Hello again, everybody. Uh, this is John Anglin with BestPriceNutrition.com. Uh, today, we're going to do a video that focuses on a question that we get asked uh, a fair amount. It's uh, how much protein do I need in one day? Um, it's common, you know. A lot of people wonder, and, and it's it's not a it's not a one size fits all question because it really depends upon who you are, what your activity level is, what your goals are, your body weight also, body weight how especially. Much muscle mass you're carrying. Exactly. So. Um, you know, obviously, if you're trying to, if you're not an active person and you're not working out, then you don't need as much protein. But we're going to specifically address athletes and people who are active and have a high activity level or at least moderate. And most recommendations, you know, put it anywhere from about 0.65 to one gram of protein per pound of, we'll just say body weight. You know, a lot of times we look at lean body mass, but that's hence for lower numbers. So. You know, or if you want to look at it uh, another way, as some people say, like 1.4 to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight. Uh, you know, there's 2.2 kilograms per pound. So, uh, um, yeah, what what that generally means is, pound. yeah, when you get to the one gram per pound. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you'd want 200 grams of protein in a day. Yeah, and that and that's on the high end, definitely. Yeah, and that's and you probably don't even need that much. It's just it's not going to hurt you to have that much. Mm -hmm. You know, the negative effects of protein at that level are absolutely unfounded. There's absolutely zero research to show that. It's just nonsense that's perpetuated throughout. It's all, you know, old wives' tales. So that's just not the case. And like Len said, 200-pound 200, 200 person, well, you know, if you have a, you know, relatively low body fat, you know, you, they might, your lean body mass is going to be, you know, like 180 pounds, let's just say. So 180 grams would probably suffice. Yeah. Now, if you're super, super active and your carbs are low, well, then... Yeah, then you'd want your protein higher. And, and what I tell people a lot of times is that one gram per pound because most oftentimes people don't hit that mark no. in a day. So if you tell them to shoot for 200, they get around 175, 180, that's perfect. Yeah, and, 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 and most people who are doing it a lot of times are you know trying to get lean or stay lean. So you know you want to make sure you're not burning protein for energy. So you, you, know, you want to ingest enough carbohydrates to have some energy, but also not too many so you can't burn body fat. So you want to stay just below that amount where mm -hmm. you're you know, kind of walking that tightrope of burning body fat and still building muscle. And, and this also applies to women too. You know, the more muscle you have, the more fat you are going to burn because next to your eye cells, your muscle cells are the most metabolically active in the body. So having more of them increases your metabolism. And metabolism can be summed up as just the sum total of chemical reactions in the body. That's really what it means. It's not anything fancy or anything beyond that. So. Yeah. And, and another thing to cover is, is when we say protein, um, of course, we're factoring in protein supplements, but also protein from your food. Yes. Uh, a lot of times you get the question, how much, how many protein shakes should I take in a day, or, or when should I take this? So what we recommend is if you get your meals in throughout the day, uh, whatever else you need to meet your, let's say, your 200 or 175 gram goal would be in protein supplements. Um, so if you're, you've got in, let's say, 125 grams from your food in a day, um, then you'll need around 50 grams from protein supplements. Assuming so, you're about 175 Assuming pounds. you're about that, with that weight. So that's two scoops, two to three scoops of protein right there. Yeah, so and like you said, they're supplements. So they supplement yeah. what you don't get from your diet. And it's hard to get that much uh, protein from your you know, diet alone. Yeah. So I don't happen to my voice there. Just went up, but <laughs> it I just go very high. So please, get yeah, some protein. Please, feel free to comment on that one. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what happened there. I, I knew that people are going to comment on that, so that's why I'll address it now. So please, you can make fun of me. It's cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we, you know, it, you don't want to be eating, you know, four or five steaks in a day, or some people just can't stomach eating, you know, three to four chicken breasts every day. It's hard, and the bigger you are, the harder it's going to be. I mean, that's just the reality. I mean, granted, you should have a higher appetite, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not a. The line is not linear in terms of trying to attain that much. So. That's where supplements matter. And also the type of protein you're getting matters. The processing, you know, like this being a pure whey protein isolate, it's going to have a higher biological, more biological activity, a higher biological value because of the way they process it. So that's something else to consider. Yeah. So, so yeah, I think that kind of addresses it. You know, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section of the video or the blog. Uh, we're happy to answer them. Also, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition.